Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you remember we were doing the relational algebra operations using MapReduce. In the previous videos, we have already covered the operations like selection and projection. Now, in this particular video, we will be specifically focusing on a very important operation which is union. So, we will first see the algorithm of the union operation. But before that, let me tell you what union means. If we have two tables A and B, then union of those two tables will be a collection of all the distinct values that are present in both the tables. So now let's see how MapReduce is used to perform the union operation. So first inside the map task, we will be iterating over all the values in the relation and we will store each value in the temporary variable tuple and then we will simply emit the key values in the form of tuple comma tuple and under the reduce section we will be just emitting the key part of the tuple that we have collected from the map task. So you can see that it is the easiest operation that can be performed using the map reduce algorithm. You just have to collect all the distinct values and then you just have to emit the key part of it. That's it. Now we will be seeing a simple example which we have taken two map workers. Each map worker is containing two tables, table 1 and table 2. Note one thing that all the map workers will contain every single table onto which you need to perform the union operation. And obviously each map worker will contain only a part of the entire table from the big data. Now let's have a look how we can solve this particular problem step by step. So here we have two tables in the first map worker and if you look at the first record it is 1, 2 and in the table 2 also the first record contains 1, 2. So you can see that while we take the union of these two tuples then in that case it will be only a single tuple which is 1, 2. It won't be repeated twice in the entire union result. So this is how union operation takes place. So in the algorithm first we need to iterate over all the values and then we just have to emit the tuple part of it. Now let's solve the first step. Now here first task is just to convert all the records in the relation in the form of key value pairs. So let me quickly create the structure of the first step. So here you can see the structure will look something like this. Now. Here in the first table of the first map worker, we have the record as 1 and 2. So as per the algorithm, we need to convert it in the form of tuple comma tuple. So the key will contain 1 comma 2 and the value will also contain 1 comma 2. Similarly, if we look at the second record, it is 3 comma 1 and the value of it will also be 3 comma 1. Now if we look at the second table of the first map worker, then it contains the record as 1 comma 2 but you can clearly see that 1 comma 2 already exists as a key inside our database so we'll just increase the length of the value of 1 comma 2 by 1 and then we have the record 2 and 1 so it comes out to be 2 comma 1 in the key and 2 comma 1 in the value so that was for the map worker 1 now let's move on to map worker 2 so the first record is 2 and 3 so the key will be 2 comma 3 and the value will be 2 comma 3 Next we have 4 comma 5 so it will be again 4 comma 5 and 4 comma 5 in the value also. Next we have 1 comma 1 in the key as well as in the value and lastly we have 2 comma 1 in the key and 2 comma 1 in the value. So let me quickly write it. So now you can see we are done with writing all the key value pairs from the records. Now the next step is to apply a hash function which will divide the entire key value pair from the map workers by 2. Generally we apply the hash function to switch the key value tables among the map workers. This is done to discard the redundancies that may occur due to the duplicated key. So let me quickly write the structure of the next step in which each key value table will be divided into two key value tables. Something like this. So now you can see we are done with the structure creation and now let's quickly write each of the value from the previous step that we have got into the 
current step so first is the key 1 comma 2 and the value 1 comma 2 since the record 1 and 2 has got repeated twice in the database hence the value 1 comma 2 is written two times next tuple is 3 comma 1 from the previous step which we have to write as it is now next tuple is 2 comma 1 which we have to write in the next table now why we are writing this in the next table because we have divided the previous key value table into two parts so if we move on to the next map worker we have to write the first two key value pairs in the first table and the next two key value pairs in the next table something like this so now we are done with this particular step now once this particular step is done we need to convert the map workers into reducer workers so in the algorithm if you can see the reducer workers will just emit the key part of it but before that the one important task that reducer worker performs is to switch the tables among the different map workers so as you can see we have two tables in the first map worker and two tables in the second map worker so the reducer worker will switch one of the table from the first map worker with the one of the table from the second map worker just to discard the redundancies that may occur due to the duplicated keys so let's quickly make the structure of the next step so you can see that our structure will look something like this and once we are done with this structure we need to write the values inside it from the previous result that we have got so the first and the fourth table will be as it is and the second table will be switched with the third and the third table will be switched with the second table so let me quickly fill all the values and let me show you the final result of this particular step so you can see everything from the previous step remains as it is except the two tables in between i just have switched them so now we will check whether there are certain redundant keys present inside the reducer workers so you can see in the second reducer worker we have two keys that has got repeated now i hope that you have understood the logic behind switching these two tables so now next step is to club the two key value tables present inside every single reducer workers into one so you can see the first reducer worker contains two tables previously but now it will be clubbed together inside a single key value pair table and we will be writing all the values one by one so if you look at the first table in the first reducer worker we have the tuple 1 comma 2 so we'll write it as it is next we have 3 comma 1 we'll write it as it is now from the next table in the first reducer worker we have the two tuples so we'll be writing that two in the single key value table now since there are no duplicates in the reducer worker 1 we will keep the result of this particular step as it is now let's move on to the reducer worker 2 so here you can see that the first tuple is 2 comma 1 so we will write it in the key 2 comma 1 and in the value 2 comma 1 but if you focus on the next table it also contains one of the key 2 comma 1 hence we will write the value of 2 comma 1 one more time this shows that 2 comma 1 has got repeated two times next we have the tuple 1 comma 1 since it has not got repeated hence we'll write it as it is one time so now we are done with this particular step now we are just left with single step if you look at the algorithm the algorithm says that the reducer worker will emit only the key part so this is the step which emits the key part if you remember in the problem we had the tables containing two attributes a and b so therefore we will be writing those two attributes as the final result because after all the union operation should give you the same attributes of the table but with all the distinct records present inside the table so you can see that if we carefully observe in the reducer worker 1 we had all these tuples 1 comma 2 3 comma 1 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5 we just have to write the left part in the left a attribute and the right part in the b attribute something like this similarly we'll do it for the reducer worker 2 2 1 and 1 1 that's it
and there we go we have got the union of the two tables that were mentioned inside the question this is the easiest operation that can be performed using MapReduce because it doesn't contain any conditions nor it contains any complex algorithm part. And if you manually check by applying the union operation, you will be getting the same result that we have got with the help of this MapReduce algorithm. I hope you have understood the entire solution. If you have any doubts, then you can put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer it. And don't forget to post your suggestions and reviews also. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching.